Red River Johnny was coming home. With him rode the sons of men who had ridden with his father. They were determined to help him reclaim his heritage, peaceably if possible, by force if necessary. Red River Johnny had inherited his father's name. He had earned his reputation in defense of that name. Home had been a ranch in the valley until he was 15, been on his own ever since then. But the story had begun long before he had been born. Justice had not yet come to the valley, and each man carried the law in his holster. A split second was the difference between being judge and jury or a bullet-riddled corpse in the dust. His father had earned the bitter resentment of a man named Three Finger Jack, and the smoldering hatred had erupted into a blazing gun duel. shot, Johnny had blasted himself loose from society. Recovering from his wounds, Johnny had found himself an outcast, wanted for murder. Other men, equally contemptuous of authority, were soon riding with him. Men like himself, who lived and died by the gun. Men who had committed acts of lawlessness beyond pardon. Men with a price on their heads. Men whose guns were notched with the scores of their killings. Men whose pictures bore the caption, Wanted. Condemned to death, his property confiscated, Johnny had become an outlaw. His rolling six-shooter earned him the name of Red River Johnny, a synonym for bloodshed and terror throughout the entire Southwest. He deserved his reputation. Fearless and without regard for the risk, he would leave his men outside a town and enter alone to plan each holdup. Hello, little Arkansas. You looking for something? Any law against it? You won't get away with it in my town, little Arkansas. You got nothing on me, Bill. Before I clean out the express office, why do you call me Little Arkansas? Because you remind me of a farmer trying to be a bad man. Name Red River Johnny, for instance. It sounds like a man, but I don't think you're any part of a man. Be careful, Johnny. This is Wild Bill's way of egging you into a gunfight. Tell you what, you count to three. If I beat you, I take it. If you beat me, one, two, an ace. A pair of sixes to beat, Bill. I guess we'll call this one a draw, Mr. Red River. A man can come from Arkansas and still beat you, my boy.
take this money and give it to the folks you think who need it most. Something wrong with your left front shoe. Horse seems to be lame. Thanks. Fellas, I want to tell you something about this mesquite job we just did. There's a lot of mistakes made. What you got there? Personal property. Fat Masters. He dropped it. Kind of accidental-like. We didn't do so good today, did we? No, we lost Hank and Joe. I guess that's why Johnny's so mad. Well, I don't know. I guess I don't know if anything else could be. I'm surprised at you, Bat. Thinking you could get away with it. I don't get you. You're a double-crosser, Bat. You're a liar. Haven't I been uh, riding with the gang and doing my work with the rest of the boys? This look familiar to you? Get him, Bat. With the discovery of Sheriff Bat Master's duplicity, Johnny learned that he no longer had the undivided loyalty of his men. Bat had done his work well, and only the premature disclosure of his identity had saved Johnny and those who remained loyal to him from the gallows. I'll give you 10 seconds to mount your horses and get out of here. Only the fact that they had once ridden together prevented the usual gunplay and spilling of blood as the men parted. I want to talk to you. Johnny's been the best friend we've ever had. You're not gonna leave him now, unless you leave him feet first. Till now, I considered you as my brother. I'm warning you, lay a hand on me and I'll kill you. Johnny's getting too old, he can't handle these men anymore. I'm gonna start leading my own bunch, Cherokee. So I'm getting too old, am I? And you couldn't lead a horse to drink. Drop that gun, I'll take you apart with my bare hands. Let me take him, Red River.
you've had enough. Now get on your horse and get out of here. Like I told you. The rest of you. But it was the end of an era. Deputized by Bat Masters, Johnny was ruthlessly hunted by the men who had once been his partners in crime. They gave and asked no quarter. Careful, Johnny. There's three of them. Yeah, I reckon. I just had a brush with that master's outfit. Must we spend the rest of our lives fighting and killing, trying to get even with someone? They stole our ranch, our horses, our cattle. And I ain't leaving these parts till somebody pays the price. John, I think we better go away someplace. Start all over again, away from this bloodshed, for the sake of young John. All right, Kathy. I'll go with you. Are you all right, John? Let's get out of here. Johnny's father was gone now, but the memory of his exploits remained. Young Johnny knew that he would be condemned for the sins of his father and that there would be a cold welcome for him in the valley. You know, Canada, I can't understand why people are so dead set against Johnny coming back here and taking over that old Red River Ranch. Yeah, I know, that pig-headed sheriff, he ain't got sense enough to know that Johnny's trying to live down the bad name this old man made around these parts. Morning, boys. Say, Sheriff, uh, could we talk to you for a few moments? Well, I'm not the sheriff. But I'll try to help what's on your mind. We're looking for ranches up for sale. Got three or four up for sale for back taxes. Know which one you want? Yeah, we'd like to see about that Red River Ranch. I hate to tell you this, boys, but if you're connected with Red River Johnny, I'm afraid Masters won't help you any. 
He left orders to jail Red River Johnny if we see him. Well, what for? Seems him and his horse were seen up at the Cinco Basin bank robbery last week. See you later, boys. We better get to Johnny. Yeah. Johnny, we've been riding together for three hours. You've hardly spoken to me. Am I that uninteresting? That isn't it, Valley. I just don't have time for anybody. There's always time if you want it. Or is it that? Well, come around when you have time for a real woman. Got a tough job on your hands, kid. What happened? Well, that sheriff there, Johnny, he just plain don't like you. That Masters is a tough hombre. And when we told him his friends are Red River Johnny, he just quit talking. Well, as you know, fellas, I was raised here. My old man killed his back in the days when it was hard to tell the difference between good and bad. Well, he told us that, too. And when we told him you was coming back here to take your pa's old place, he plain hit the ceiling. That old man of yours must have been a tough hombre. I heard some of the tallest tales about him I ever heard anybody in my life. Well, boys, I'm moving in. If you don't feel like you're being <laughs> with me anymore. Are you kidding, Johnny? It'll take a lot more than this master zombie to separate us. And besides, we want to find out this character that's been impersonating you. Well, we'll get him, too. That was a good ride you made there, kid. You think he'll be any good? Nah, he be jagged, not worth a quarter. You think that wild Bill, whoever he is, knows you're on his tail? Well, I don't know, but we can see. <laughs> I think he knows. But well, let's get this camp straightened up. Oh, Billy. 
Billy, what's the matter? You know what the matter is. I've tried, Billy. Honest, I've tried. But I can't do any good with Johnny. He's just not interested. He'd get interested if you'd convince him. Now get on back there and turn on your womanly charm. But I want you, Billy. Do like I tell you now. Help me get his ranch and maybe we'll both have everything we want. Go on. to her. <laughs> All right, boys, the fun's over. We'll go out to my dad's ranch and see what we can salvage. Valley, I'm telling you for the last time, Stay away from him. He's too good for you. Now, isn't that too bad? Look who's talking. You're so much in love with him yourself. It shows every time you look at him. At least he isn't afraid I'll stick a knife in his back. Word's getting around that I'm holding up stages and banks. You know anything about it? Now, why should I? I got business of my own to tend to. All I want to do is get back the deed to my dad's ranch. You riding this stocking-legged horse ain't helping my reputation any. It's a free country, ain't it? I don't want to cause you any trouble, but if this stocking-legged horse of yours is seen at any more of these holdups, I'm coming after you, Billy. Now, get out of here. occurred with mounting frequency. Batmasters, following in his fame father's footsteps, was determined to put a halt to this outbreak of crime.
Let's get out of here, men. Looks like the sheriff's getting help. When did he get back? Yesterday. Your daughter seemed to be expecting him. I told you once to stay out of these parts. If you don't, I'm gonna have to kill you. This is my home, Bat, and I intend to stay here. Bat, you're a fool. Johnny here never done the wrong thing in his life. Your paws run out of these parts. It won't take much to run you out. The ranch you think is yours is now being sold for back taxes. You can keep my dad's name out of this, Bat, and in case you don't know it, I'm not going to have these killings and robberies laid at my door. Johnny! You shouldn't have come here, Johnny. You know Dad and the boys are just waiting for a chance to get evidence against you. You can stop worrying, Laurie. Your old man's an honest fellow. Maybe stubborn as a Missouri mule, but if I can talk to him a few minutes, everything's gonna be all right. Well, if you must. But I want to tell you this, Laurie. Get away from him, Miss Masters. Who is it? Long-haired kid. That's what I wanted to tell you. Get away from me. Look, fella, why do you want to have trouble with me? Just because our dads had differences, there's no reason why we should have. The great Red River Johnny, begging not to have any trouble. Now, Miss Masters, I'm going to show you how to make a bad man crawl. Turn sideways. Tell whoever you're working for if they don't. This will put you away for a while. Well, self-defense, Bat. He's a liar, Sheriff. Matter if my back was turned, he'd throw it down on me. Bat? The more I hear, the sicker I get. And Bat, if you don't holster that gun, I'm gonna put a hole in you that could drive a stagecoach through. Man's right, Dad. It was self-defense on Johnny's part all the way. If need be, I'll swear to that in court. You win this time, but take your dogs and get out of here. I'm a stubborn fool, dear, but I just wanted to make sure you know what you were doing. Johnny and I were just good friends in school, Dad. Nothing serious. You say the governor offered him a special commission to be chief marshal of the state? Amazing how wrong I could be. You know what he said, Dad? He thanked the governor and told him he wanted to come back home and live in such a manner that people who would forget his dad was an outlaw and think of him as a fine man. I have a confession to make. It's quite possible he's right. You know, my dad, your grandfather, was sheriff here. And I've learned some things about him that might make a man want to kill him.
Hold it, Cherokee. Glad to see you. Hi, Bat. Just rode in to get some supplies. The mine payroll was held up again. Gee, that's tough. Means nobody gets paid again, huh? And I'm holding you, Cherokee, for robbery and attempt murder. Dad! I was a fool. Believe that Johnny was on the level. <laughs> Didn't stay on very long, did it? No, but you got off plenty good. <laughs> Wait a minute, boys. I hear a horse coming. Johnny knows what you've been doing, Billy. So what is he going to do about it? He thinks I'm a friend of yours. Well, we uh, have had some good times, you know. He knows that, too. That's why he won't have anything to do with me. Hey, Billy. What's she doing here? Running errands for our good friend, Red River Johnny. Yeah? I don't like the looks of this. Who is she? She's from Red River Johnny's camp, bearing tales of wool, if we don't stop doing what we're doing. I don't care who she is. She sure is pretty, isn't she, boys? So he robbed that gold shipment and hit it on his ranch, huh? Yeah, but he only did it to keep Billy here out of trouble. I told you before, I don't need anybody to keep me out of trouble. Get the boys. We're going after that gold. Stay where you are. So you figured you could take over my outfit, huh? <coughs> I never seen him like that before. I go away for a couple of weeks and you go crazy. Who is she and how much does she know? She knows plenty. Billy there is one of her boyfriends. Yeah, go on. And Red River Johnny's the other one. Don't ever mention that name in front of me. Billy here's been shooting off his mouth so much he's got every sheriff in the country after us. So there's only one thing we can do. What's that, Zach? I happen to know that mine payroll is just a drop in the bucket. The express office at Oxbow is just full of it. Now, all we have to do is knock that over, and we'll have more money than we can all spend. And get even with Masters and Red River Johnny at the same time. She's all yours, Koontz. Get mounted, boys. We're going to take that express office, sheriff and all.
You've hardly said a word all morning. What's eating you? You and Valley have another fight? Well, don't worry about our fights. You know you can't trust her, but you still keep swallowing that so-called charm of hers. I don't know what I'd do without you, Dusty. As for that matter, I don't know what I'm going to do with you either. My father was killed riding with yours. And his last words to me were, get with young Johnny. Stay with him. His is the only bridge you can trust. He told me to marry you, Johnny. Master's girl? There's no one. After I get this trouble cleaned up and clear my name with the sheriff, I was hoping you'd marry me, Dusty. Relax now and tell me what happened, slow like. Well, first, did you get the deed back to the ranch? Right here, safe and sound. Good. Now tell me, what happened? Well, yesterday, the ore wagons were held up again, and the driver said you did it. I did. You what? Well, sure, I knew three fingers and Billy were going to do it and blame me anyway. Oh, well, not more than an hour ago, Cherokee came into town, and Dad tried to arrest him for the same thing. What? Yeah, he figured if he held Cherokee, you'd come after him, and he set a trap for you. Robbing express office today. Who did this, kid? Take it easy. I was with Billy. I didn't realize how bad he was till Three Fingers Jack showed up. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you, Johnny. Forgive me. Dear God. We thank you for the privilege of knowing this courageous girl. If taking her in this manner is the price you want her to pay, I'm sure she goes with you gladly. May her soul rest in peace. I'm gonna rush him. Get to my camp and bring everybody you can. Doc's bowl.
coffee, kid? Sure thing. You boys ever pray? We can try. Miss Dusty, why is it Sheriff Masters is so all dead set against Johnny? I'm getting about all I can stand from that varmint. If he keeps Johnny away from his ranch much longer, I'm going to fix him in a way that they'll all understand. Cherokee, where's Johnny? That's what I'd like to know. The sheriff would like to know the same thing. That's all I wanted to know. I'm gonna give Masters a dose of lead poison he won't get over. Johnny needs help. Get all the men you can. We'll meet him in Oxbow. Let's go. Hand me a gun belt. We've cleaned out the town, now let's clean out that express office. Girls take cover behind those buildings. What's going on here? Three Fingers Jack's got his whole mob up at the other end of the street. They're fixing to hold up the express office. Well, let's take them. Let's go.
started down the street. We'll use it for a barricade. Red River's gang is at the end of the street. Yeah, I know. That's what I came to tell you about. Get that rifle out of the boot and get up on top and keep us covered. Let's go, boy. together and let's get out of here. I can't get them unless I carry them. What do you mean? They're all dead. All of them? All of them. Don't you know better to come into a hornet's nest like this? Don't look like you use very good jet but yourself, Matt. We'll have to make a run for it. I'm out of shells. Jack. What's the matter with you? Have you gone crazy? Yeah, crazy. Crazy from a kick in the head. What's the matter, boys? You tired? Let's go see how bad hurt Johnny is. You boys, go ahead. I think I've got a busted leg. 
Johnny, if you can forgive an old coot like me for holding a grudge against you and your dad, I'd like to have you stick around these parts, permanent like. Sheriff, that would be a real pleasure. But I promised Dusty here, Cheney, Canada, Percy, and the boys, that we'd take over the Red River Ranch and make a home for all us old broken down cowpokes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bill and uh, Cherokee are already making plans. Now, Cherokee, you may be a good cowboy, but you're no businessman. Why not take me? I could run that ranch with my eyes closed. Cheney, that's just what I was afraid of. <laughs>